Hello everybody, my name is Dylan and today we're going to take a look at The Last Day, a French film with English subtitles released in 2004. It was written and directed by Rodolphe Marconi, produced by Gemini Films and Canal Plus, and distributed by Strand Releasing. This film stars Gaspar Uliel. If you don't know who he is, he is an actor from France who has a decent filmography in Europe. He's not as well known here in North America, but you might have seen him as the young Hannibal Lecter in the film Hannibal Rising, The Silence of the Lamb prequel released in 2007. He also stars in Moon Knight on the Disney Plus streaming service as the villain Anton Mogart. Sadly, Mr. Gaspar Uliel tragically passed away in early 2022 at the young age of 37, so he didn't live to see his portrayal in the series. But, lo and behold, he also has a couple of gay theme films to his credit. So, The Last Day begins on a train ride. 19-year-old Simon, played by Gaspar Uliel, meets Louise, played by Melanie Laura. There seems to be an instant spark between the two. Simon is visiting his family for the holidays, and Louise seems to be a guest at the house for the stay. I wonder how that conversation came about. Hi, stranger on train. Want to spend Christmas with me and my family and sleep with me on my bed? Get away from me, you perv! Simon also reconnects with his childhood friend Mathieu, played by Thibaut Vincent. A kind of love triangle seems to emerge within the three, but Louise and Matthew seem to be hitting it off more, leaving Simon as kind of a third wheel. Simon seems jealous, but it becomes unclear if he's jealous of Mathieu or of Louise. A lot of things in this film are not set outright. You watch a lot of the characters' behaviors, longings, as they stare into the distance for a while, etc. There is also a subplot regarding Simon's mother, who is cheating on her husband and feels increasingly guilty. As the film goes on, it becomes apparent that Simon has feelings for his friend Matthew, but he never really acts on them. We don't know if he realizes he's gay. Strangely enough, he seems to low-key compete with Matthew for the attention of Louise. Simon seems aware of the inevitable heartbreak he's about to suffer. So, The Last Day is a film that really brings emotions back to basics. Love, jealousy, longing, guilt, etc. Uh, there's no huge gimmick to this film, just these characters and their interactions with one another. We don't know a ton about them, just some basic facts and we watch a lot of the interaction between them, reactions, etc. It's almost like a small behavioral study. Again, subtlety is the name of the game here, which is not a formula that everybody will appreciate. This wasn't Uliel's only gay themed film, as he did star in Gus Van Sant's short film Le Marais, released in 2006, and in Xavier Dolan's It's Only the End of the World, released in 2016. As for the themes, they're fairly simple for this film. First of all, we have love. I think that is the overarching theme in most of the characters. When we focus more on Simon, we see the themes for longing and unrequited love. The film often shows Simon pensive, either looking into the distance or daydreaming. There's obviously a bit of confusion on his face. We also have the theme of jealousy. Simon feels left out when he sees the blossoming romance between his friends Mathieu and Louise. He tries to withdraw from them, but they still want him around. They're friends after all, even if Simon and Louise sleep in the same bed. I think they're located on a small island with very few people or establishments. It's a tight-knit community, so I guess they can't take that much distance from each other. So, as I mentioned earlier, the themes for this film are brought back to basic emotions. There's also a theme of tragedy, which I won't spoil, but it's in the last minute of the film, and the first minute. As for ratings, IMDB has rated The Last Day a 6.1 out of 10. It is not rated on Rotten Tomatoes. I give this film a 5.5 out of 10. It doesn't quite have that passing mark with me, uh, although I don't consider this to be a bad film, but I just don't know if there's enough here to hold the interest of today's viewers. Uh, the acting is very good, I don't remember ever seeing a French film where the acting was bad, and unlike Friends Forever, it has more of a flowing narrative, it makes more sense. But still, I don't know if the subtlety of the film and the character nuances will appeal to many. Based on this video, you can probably decide if you would like this film or not. If you like a slow moving drama, that's up to you. So have you seen The Last Day? What did you think about it? Please leave me a like, subscribe, comment, add me to Facebook, and I hope to see you for the next review.